and today we are going to be learning how to make a Pokemon game and this is part four so uh, I know I haven't uploaded this series in a while and that is because my recording software has gone all crazy and uh, it's finally working again but um, yeah also guys if you do want a shout out in one of my videos um, then just go follow me on scratch I will leave the link to the profile down in the description just click the big red follow button and I will be randomly choosing um, three to four to five people every video uh, from my followers and subscribers. All right, subscribe as well. Uh, two for a shout out. And yeah, but anyways, today we're gonna be making a battling system. So yeah, all right. Okay, so um, we left off, you know, here, and uh. What we want to do is, so when I in the when I receive battle here, it'll switch X and Y to battle and scene. Uh, I really don't think that's working too well. Maybe. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna change this to ten, and then a thousand, and then we're also gonna call the backdrop ten, one thousand, boom about now so if I just set Pokemon chance to two then dang wait if X not X and in battle is equal okay I'm gonna actually have to change this to one okay three one two okay there and that does the battle thing okay and then in the when I receive battle, which is in here, uh, we're going to set in battle to yes. And then, um, now let's actually make the battling system. So first we wanted to randomize what Pokemon will be fighting. And for just for the series, I have a Caterpie and a Pidgeot. Uh, boom. All right. And I'm going to create two lists. So one is going to be called Pidgeot Moveset. Uh, boom. And then un un the other one is going to be called Caterpie Moveset. Boom. Okay. So these are what moves our Pokemon are going to be able to use. Alright. So we're going to add. So instead of Pidgeot, we're going to add... Uh, let's use it. Let's do slash. So that's gonna be a move. Let's do uh, peck. And let's do steel wing. Oh, no, no, no. Steel wing. Boom. And at the beginning, we want to delete all of the moveset. Boom. So now we only have that. And now, we can literally just drag the same thing over into... Ca okay, wait. We can actually click on it, press Control c and then just press Control v or you could just drag it in there. And then we're going to just do that. But instead of Pidgeot moveset, let's change it to Caterpie moveset. And then, uh, change the moves. So, instead of Slash, let's do Tackle. Uh, I don't know what moves Caterpie is. String Shot. And then, uh, what other move does Caterpie, what other moves can get Caterpie? Okay, let's make it use, uh, Tackle, String Shot, and then, you know what, let's make it use Leafage. I know, I don't think Caterpie uses that, uh, but, you know what, it really doesn't matter. Okay, and boom we have all of that there so uh, we can hide these two and what we can do is uh, re as actually hide the player first of all so when I receive battle uh, oh no not choose Pokemon battle oh uh, we're gonna hide and the hitbox boom. okay now 
Uh, let's make a sprite, and this is going to be called the UI background, I guess. And then we're just going to paint like that, just a little, almost like a ground. And let's make it like a another gray color, so boom. And also, we don't want an outline for this. Okay. And also, um, yeah. And, uh, so let's actually make it choose what Pokemon. Okay, I'm just going to hide that real quick. Let's make it choose what Pokemon, uh, is going to battle our Pokemon. So, in the player, what we can do is in the when I receive battle, we can also make a variable called uh, battling Pokemon. Boom. And then, uh, okay. And then we're going to set battling Pokemon to pick random one to two. All right. And then what we can do is... Uh, when I receive, oh yeah, when I receive battle, uh, if, and then put an equals to, if battling Pokemon is equal to one, then we can, uh, just set it, uh, to Caterpie. Boom. And then I'm just gonna drag that into the Pidgeot. Boom. Oh, dang it. Okay. Bam. Oh, no, no, Okay. Boom. Boom. Bap. Oh. Bing. Uh. And, yeah. Okay. So, after we have this. Oh, wait, wait. This is actually not supposed to be like that. This is supposed to be a Pidgeot. P I D G E O T. Okay, Pidgeot. That's how you spell it. All right, and then we'll also make it show. Boom. Also, of course, it's very big, so we'll set the size down to like 50, and then put it there. So we'll make it set size to 50, and then go to there. Boom. And now, uh. Yeah, now we'll just copy that over once again to Caterpie. And then let me show Caterpie. If I do that, that is still way too big. So 40. All right, 40 works. All right. Now, if I just do this. uh, See, okay, so it was Caterpie. So the battling was Cap Caterpie. Also, this uh, UI background, we're going to hide it at first uh and then go to zero zero and then we're gonna do an oh no, no wait. we're gonna do when i receive battle then we're actually just gonna make a show boom and what okay well, wait all right so bam all right it was caterpie uh is it ever gonna be pidgeot No, it's Caterpie again. It's still Caterpie. Is it? Is that a glitch? Or... Uh, okay, wait. I'm gonna do that. It's Caterpie. It's two. Is it dot bat? What? Oh, you know what? You know what? We could. I think we need to put um that into one script. So if I just do this, boom. Okay, if I just do that, now battling Pokemon is equal to Caterpie, and then I'll just broadcast Caterpie. I think that'll work. And then I can actually just get rid of that and do when I receive Caterpie. 
Bam. No. What? It's one. No. It's two. Are they actually just showing? Wait, okay. So, if I just wait for the Pokemon, okay. What, are they? They're both hidden. Okay, so, maybe, we just have to do uh, forever, if, and then put in equals to, and then put in battling Pokemon is equal to one, or not Q, one. Then we'll do that, and then we'll just duplicate that. Uh, actually, just copy it. Bam. Paste that in there. Get rid of all that. Boom. Is equal to 2. 50. Okay. There, what about that? No, why isn't it showing? What if I put the show at the beginning? Wait. Oh yeah, and then actually, when Green Five Quake set battling Pokemon to zero, and in battle, yes, Pokemon tra battling Pokemon, it just needs to show. Now, why is it not showing? Uh oh, wait, it's because it's in the when Green Five clicked. I am so utterly stupid. Wait, that still didn't make a difference. Oh, that why is that in a forever loop? Okay. I am making very small mistakes. All right, so Pokémon chance See, okay. Now now it shows up. Uh Pokémon chance, please set to 2. 2 Pally, okay, the Pidgeot is messed up. Why is the Pidgeot doing weird stuff? And this isn't. Uh. Okay, that's. See, the cat. The Caterpie is fine. And then the Pidgeot! It's not even showing, see? But why is the question? What if I just get rid of all of that, put that up there, and then do that? Because this is supposed to work. What if I reload the page? Just, yeah, what if I just reload it? I don't know, is that going to make a difference? No, it, it doesn't. Just a why. Okay, set so battling Pokemon. To pick random one to two. And then, uh, how about we put a stop this script? Boom. So it doesn't like keep on. I don't know. Caterpie. Okay. A Caterpie again. What if I just do that? Okay. Just for now. It's. T Why is it not working? I get rid of that. What? That worked? There is no way that just worked. Really? That. Oh my god. That is actually stupid. Okay, well, guys, I am very sorry for that. Uh. I did not know why that made a difference. Okay, well, now that that worked, uh, let's make our Pokemon show up here. Okay, so we're going to do, so let's go into the player and do this. We're going to do when I receive battle, uh, and then if... And then, um, uh, 
Caterpie moves not Caterpie moves. If Pokemon list contains Bulbasaur, then we'll broadcast uh Bulbasaur. Okay, just broadcast Bulbasaur. If it contains Charmander. Wait, wait, wait. In here, uh, is it Caps, Bulbasaur, Charmander? Or, okay, they all have capital letters. Okay, uh, then we'll broadcast Charmander. Then I'll duplicate this and do if it contains Squirtle. Uh, no. Squirtle. Okay, that's how you spell it. Then we'll broadcast Squirtle. Bam. Now, when I receive Bulbasaur, then we will hide. I mean, show. Uh, what? Why did that just happen? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because of that. Okay. I'll have to get rid of that. Uh, and then we'll set. Okay, we'll just go there. I think that's all we need to do. Because the size and stuff is pretty good. Then we'll go there and I'll just copy that. Oh, no, no. When I receive Bulbasaur. Okay. Copy that. Paste that. Just change that to Charmander. Uh, paste that. And just change that to Squirtle. Okay, so now, if we get battle, which might take a while. Okay, Caterpie. Why did it not show? Okay. Oh, wait. It's because I didn't pick a starter Pokemon. Alright, so I can go in here. The Pokemon chance is going to stay still. I pick my Pokemon. I want Bulbasaur. But, oh, wait. I got rid of that. Okay. Bulbasaur. Bam. Now I can get out of here. Space to leave. Why can't I leave? Is the question. Then broadcast leave house. What? I can't even leave? How? Why can I not leave? If touching player, then broadcast leave house. When I receive leave house, do that. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I not? Okay, well. Uh, if we didn't make a leaving system, I remember making one. Okay. We'll do when I receive leave house. Uh, if, uh, key space pressed, then we will set X and Y to zero, zero. Bam. Okay. And I'm in a battle. Okay. As soon as I left. And, uh, we have, uh, uh, Caterpie and the Bulbasaur, but we can still click on the Bulbasaur, which we really don't want. So, um, what I'll do is put an if, then equals to, if in battle is equals to no. Bam. And then I'm also just going to put that around this. So now it's fine. Okay, so guys, that is it for this video. I know we didn't do that much, but it's gotten to like 15 minutes or something. But uh, guys, that is it. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out.